I was born in Guyana, born in Georgetown. I grew up in a tiny village there called Parika, which is not so tiny anymore. And I went to school at Greenwich Park Primary School. Um, yeah, and migrated to the U.S. when I was nine years old. And I'm in my 30s now and with a 15-year career in technology. So I want to get to uh, understand a bit about your childhood and then into how that propelled you into doing this. You know, I just stayed inside a lot and played video games. Um, it was better than going outside where there might be potential danger. Um, and that just led me to picking up coding, actually, because I, I wanted to learn how to build video games. And that skill changed my life. Yeah, I noticed, hey, you know, I can, uh, I can take the, the same skill that's used to make video games and make websites and apps and all these other, anything digital. And I back then it was Craigslist. So I went on there, found someone looking to build a website. I think the gig was $1,500, which is a lot of money for a 16-year-old at that time. And ever since then, it just snowballed. Mm -hmm. um, and I just knew this is what I really wanted to do. During that period, I worked at a company called VaynerMedia by this entrepreneur named Gary Vaynerchuk. And he was an early investor in Uber and Twitter and so on. And I'm like, all right, let me just volunteer and start to teach people how to code in the community in, in Queens here. And from a handful of people, 20 people wanted it, 80 people wanted it, 100 people wanted it. It got picked up on the local news. And so we decided, hey, let's create a nonprofit. And I won that angle because I didn't want to charge people twenty thousand dollars to, you know, learn this skill um, that can be life changing. I what I did is I got the big tech companies to pay for their scholarships. So every big tech company you can imagine has sponsored us. Then, um, so my involvement has been direct because I'm sharing my journey with others. Got over twelve thousand students in one hundred and forty nine countries, um, and it's. It's all the way from teenagers to adults. In fact, uh, I helped a 16-year-old kid in Nigeria land his first job. I want to ask you a bit about some of the sponsors that you have. Uh, if you can name some of the bigger companies, some of the uh, private organizations. We're a proud Techstars company, and our investors through Techstars include JP Morgan, Amazon, and Twitter, um, which is incredibly rare to have. I mean, Techstars is one of the top venture funds in the world. Um, and so it was an honor that they, they selected to invest in us and work with us. How, how do you intend, you, you do online and so on, so how would you go about bringing that into this country? Well, today I'm happy to announce that like, I'm gonna give the access to all guidance to the platform. If they go to www.cadena.dev slash Guyana, they'll all get free access. Um, so that's the first step. Um, you know, the next step would be exploring how we can work with private pub and public partnerships. Um, I know His Excellency, the President Dr. Van Ali has made AI a priority once he came back from China and really saw what it was doing to the economy there. Um, and so I think this is the first step, giving them access to all the courses, giving them access to the AI tools. Yeah, so we, we're adding more courses. So we've got a ton of courses in our library, like in artificial intelligence, learn how to code, generative AI art. We're adding a coding language called Python, just like how we have ABCs in English. Um, Python is the ABC of this AI future. Uh, if you've ever used chat GPT or tools like that, what's really powering it behind the scene is, is this language called Python. And so it's our, our learners have demanded it. And so we're gonna launch it for them. You know, I would love to explore in the private sector there and, and in the government sector, how we can open up roles for people. Um, there's tons of tasks that we don't like to do that could be automated by machines. Um, and so we could train people to do that type of work. 